everyone, we are back. And for today, we're going to start to sew Black Eyed Susan. Also, I'm going to give you updates of the seedling that I sold last week. It was the Yanthus, and I had a great success with that. I'll give you the updates with that later. later. But for now, we're going to talk about the variety that I'm going to start. I got this seed from Floret again, and this is Prairie Sun. It has this yellow with a pale yellow tips and a green apple green center so it is very pretty and it's eye-catching this plant is perennial short-lived perennial actually but in colder zones like mine i am from zone 4a this is treated as annual uh, you need to start eight to ten weeks before your last frost so that you can get blooms this year if you wait till later you might not get they might just produce rosette and you might not get blooms for the season um and but they will bloom for the next season if they overwinter it will bloom from midsummer through fall so that will produce a lot of of uh, flowers for you if you want to use it for cut flowers it is best because it has 26 to 30 inches stem so that is pretty good for cut flowers and um also you can use it for beds for landscaping because they are very eye-catching and they will they will give you pretty much of a good color so now let's begin um we're gonna like we're gonna do what we are always doing with our seeds we're gonna pre-moisten the soil put the seeds on top and this one needs light to germinate so we will just barely cover them i'll put it in a heat mat after with a temperature of 70 degrees fahrenheit and the packets that you will it will start to germinate in 8 to 14 days so we will see our progress there we will have a success i hope because um this will be so pretty i'm gonna put it in our beds and also in the cut flower some of them so i am using this um 16 16 um uh, holes <laughs> tray is that what you just said uh, it is cool but i am not sure it is from burpee I kind of like it it's like this silicone thing that you can reuse every year oh this is pretty awesome so let's begin now I will now pre-moisten the soil now that my soil is pre-moistened let's begin um the consistency that we're going for is that the soil is when you you squeeze it there's no water dripping and it will hold like this so that's good so let's begin to put the seeds on top of the soil i'm gonna put my seeds over here so i can see them and i can see how tiny the seeds are i'm gonna be putting like three or four depends how many i'm gonna pick because that's really hard if they're so tiny you see they are started to come out which i don't want to waste them so they are really really tiny <music> needs light to germinate so we will just barely cover it with vermiculite also the vermiculite helps the to help 
with the moisture it doesn't seem to dry out fast if you have vermiculite well, I didn't um, divide my seeds pretty good so the other cells here are empty so when they started to germinate I'm gonna thin them I'm gonna dig out some of them and plant it where I didn't put seeds from um, in nothing to worry I think I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven <laughs> spots that I I didn't put. That's all right. Now let's mist it so that the the soil, uh, I mean the seeds, will settle in into the soil. I will be now be putting this in the heat mat and uh, with a 70 degrees Fahrenheit temperature and these babies will be giving me flowers soon so now that this is done let's go and head up to my um Diantha seedling update let's go now I am in grow my grow room slash makeup room <laughs> so let's check out those Rebecca's where I put them now so now they are here with their humidity dome and they will stay there until they germinate I'm gonna remove them once they germinated and pretty much nothing yet then down here are my seedlings those are the dianthus and beside it is the eucalyptus that i started i started 10 of them to survive and i'm still babying them because i want them to survive they look pretty good though i have this little fan here because um I have a fr a problem with um fungus gnats so it's it helps with uh keeping them controlling them I mean I put a this one so they will get up to the light closely because I am starting to notice a little stretching over there which is not good I don't want them to be laggy so I put this so they will be up close to the light so let's take a look at that babies pretty close look at that I am just so happy how can you focus this won't focus um they started to germinate after three days oh my god I oh I am so happy and most of them did and some of them are still trying to come out oh i'm just so happy so once they get a little bigger i'm gonna thin them and once i see true leaves true leaves i'm gonna be starting to feed them i am not sure yet what to um feed them because i have used fish fertilizer and the miracle grow one um i had a great success with both but the fish fertilizer has a smell so i don't mind it but my husband does and i don't want <laughs> to come to a point that i need to kick up my husband out of the house so <laughs> joke just kidding um he's my number one supporter and if you're what he's will he will be watching this hi <laughs> don't forget to like the video so that's it i'm still not sure what to use yet but i am really wanting to use the fish one because it is really good so we'll see we'll see the tray that i am using is uh grow ease from gardener supplies the 24 
slot, I think. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But um, this one I already have before this one germinated. I, I was hand misting them. Now that they did germinated, I already used the self watering. I put water in them and they are they stayed up pretty moist. I am so surprised. I haven't watered them since last yeah, I started it last two days and I haven't watered them still till now. So if you want this, I will put down the link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. This one is pretty good, pretty sturdy. I am no sponsored. I am just telling you how how happy I am with this one. And this is reusable and pretty sturdy. So worth the money, worth the money, everyone. Anyway um i'll thin them and there is one here that i might have skipped putting seeds so i might dig some of them and put it here but i am so happy with with the result and i hope they will survive till i put them out so let's see let's see let's see Anyway, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video again. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment on my YouTube channel. Hoping to see you in the next video. Bye!